Hi, I'm Celine, technical writer with Smart Learning Suite Online. And today's video is for those of you who use the Canvas Learning Management System with Google Drive. So if you've been following the updates that we've posted on the new features in Smart Learning Suite Online playlist, you've seen that we've recently integrated Smart Learning Suite Online with G Suite and Google Drive. And this means that if you also have Canvas integrated with Google Drive, that you'll have access to your Smart Learning Suite lessons uh, that you've saved in Google Drive. And I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. So we're in the Canvas Learning Management System at the Canvas dashboard. Um, and I've got this math course that I'm going to open up. So we'll go ahead and open that. And right away, you can see if you go to the Google Drive tab, your Google Drive files will appear. And if you have Smart Learning Suite Online connected to, to Google Drive, then you're going to have a Smart Learning Suite folder where your lessons get uploaded. And they might be some, you might have lessons elsewhere, too, in the other folders that you've created to organize your files. Um, and if you wanted to actually attach a Smart Learning Suite lesson to a Canvas assignment, you could do that here from the Assignments tab. So we'll go ahead and show how this works. I don't have any assignments in here yet, so we'll create a new one. And first thing, we need to type a title for it. So my lesson is on fractions. So we'll go ahead and type that in. And then when you're ready to actually attach the lesson, you choose the Google Drive icon, which will open up your Google Drive files. And my lesson is here in my winter semester folder. There's my math files. One more level in. And here's the fraction fun lesson that I want to attach. One important thing to note here is that embed doesn't work. You need to choose the link option. And once you've chosen that, the link actually shows up in the body paragraph here. So you can also add instructions here. If you want to tell your students to watch the video on page three and then complete some of the activities in the lesson, um, give it a bit more detail. But the only other thing you really need to make sure you do is choose the correct submission type, which is website URL already pre-selected for me here because I've chosen it before. So now that everything's good to go, I will choose Save and Publish. And now the lesson uh, has published as an attachment to this fraction assignment. Um, so that's great. If you want to see what this looks like from a student perspective, we'll go back to the math course page. And then you can actually look at the student view here, which is kind of a nice feature in um, Canvas. So now we're seeing what students see. If students go to the Assignment tab, the new fractions assignment that you created is here. Students can select it. And then they can actually select the link that will take them to Smart Learning Suite Online. If this is their first time, they'll be asked to sign in just as they normally would. Um, I'm already signed in, so the lesson preview showed up automatically. Note, just note this is a preview, so you do need to click Open with Smart Learning Suite to actually open up the Smart Learning Suite Online interface. And once students do that, They'll be able to work in the lesson as they usually would. Their work will be automatically saved. So for those of you who are already using Canvas, this is a great opportunity to start using Smart Learning Suite Online or to make things a little smoother if you already do. You can do everything inside of the LMS that you're already working in. Um, and if that, you are that user who uses Canvas and you don't have Google Drive connected yet to either Canvas or to Smart Learning Suite Online, we're going to drop some links in the documentation to show you how to set up that connection so you can give this feature a try. Um, in the future, we're going to have some exciting updates for Canvas users. So we're looking into uh, making it so that you can actually create a Smart Learning Suite lesson directly in Canvas and also generate student reports. So if that sounds interesting to you and you'd like to stay in the loop on what we're doing, be sure to subscribe to the Smart Support YouTube channel and keep an eye on the new features in Smart Learning Suite Online playlist. Thanks for watching.